for what's getting ready to happen. We're going to have a little decision. But Father, I want to do a praise and worship song before we get start. Yes, and um, and, and Michael. hopefully they will encourage these brothers. Right? Like I just feel in my spirit. So I just ask you things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right, it's a song called I Got My Mind Made Up and My Heart Is Fixed. I'm going with Jesus all the way. Right? right. Now, it's so like a two-parter. So the first part goes like this. I got my mind made up, right? My heart is fixed. I'm going with Jesus all the way. I got my mind made up and my heart is fixed. I'm going with Jesus all the way. That's it. That's, that's all the words to it. But then I will randomly walk around and choose a guy. No matter who I may pick. And you got to say, I got my mind made up. And we say, now as a group, we're going to say, yeah, and my heart is fixed. Yeah, and I'm going with Jesus all the way. And we say, I'm going with Jesus. Hey, hey, he's got his mind made up and his heart is fixed. He's going with Jesus all the way. Now, if I choose you, you're going to find out where the devil you really are. Alright? So let's start the song. Ready? I got my mind made up. Hey, my heart is fixed. I'm going with Jesus all the way. I got my mind made up and my heart is fixed. I'm going with Jesus all the way. I got my mind made up and my heart is fixed. I'm going with Jesus all the way. I'm going with Jesus all the way. I got my mind made up. Hey! My heart is fixed. Hey! I'm going with Jesus all the way. Hey! hey. I got his mind made up. And his heart is fixed. He's going with Jesus all the way. I do. Oh, I got my mind made up. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, with Jesus 
all the way. <laughs> You know, you was talking about one, in one uh, uh, class, like, I don't know, like four months ago or so, you was talking about uh, the, the, the demon of lust who, who something about being Adam or Eve being on top of Adam. No, no I know where you're going. Yeah. Okay. There is some doctrine on, that's outside the word. Now, first and foremost, a lot of things that I'm going to say, okay, this is just maturity that grows in God. Amen? Amen. It may not even be listed in the Word of God. Some of this stuff is in Hebrew Bible. Some of this stuff is in other books. Okay? Now, it's something called the pre-Adamite stage. Anybody ever heard of that? Yeah. Okay. Pre-Adamites mean that there were men and women before Adam and Eve. No. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know you've been taught that Adam and Eve were the first man and woman. Right? <clears throat> Amen. But in the pre Adamite stage, matter of fact, let's go to Genesis chapter 1. Now, like I said, you don't, you can eat the meat and spit out the bone. A lot of times I don't like talking about this kind of stuff because we're here for a different form. But it's okay. Okay? Because I know you want to grow. But don't run around saying, you know, this guy was teaching against the doctrine or this guy was saying this or this guy was saying that. Eat the meat and spit out the bone. Okay? I don't care how you believe, what you believe, as far as that goes, okay? I just know I have graduated to an era where it has strengthened my belief. That's right. That's right. Amen? So, in Genesis 1, here it is. Now, some people may disagree, but scholars are arguing over this stuff. So, you know what? Let them argue. <laughs> <laughs> Amen? Because, uh, where do I want to go here? I think it is verse... 20, is it 26? Is it 28? And God bless them. Yay! No, y'all forgot. Genesis 1, 28. Yay! Yay! All right. Here we go. Go to verse 26. And God said, let us make man in our image and after our likeness. God said, he spoke it. If you look at everything up until that point, all the way up to the six things, he spoke everything into existence. Right? Look at verse 1 and 2, first of all. Look at 1 and 2. It said, in the beginning, God created what? The heaven and earth. And God, and then the earth was without form and void, and the darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the work. Now, we don't know how much time that is between those two verses. Could be a million years, could be one day. 
Could be a whole bunch of stuff, but God was speaking things into existence. Remember, y'all with me? Yeah. So even when he got here, God said, ain't that what it said? That's right. He's speaking. Let us. Who's he talking to? Jesus. Ooh. There go the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost right there. He got to be talking to who? Amen. Amen. Let us make man. Let us make man in our image. And after our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish and over the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and everything that creep and every creeping thing that creep up upon the earth. So watch this. So God created man in his own image. And in the image of God created he him. Male and female. Are y'all with me? Yeah, yeah. Male. He didn't say man, which would have covered both, both genders, right? That's right. But he said male and female. Oh boy, y'all get ready. Help me, Lord. <laughs> male and female created he did, right? And God said, bless them. And God said unto them, be fruitful, multiply, and replenish the earth. Under I replenish. In order to replenish something, it had already had to be here. Hello? Are you with me? Right, yeah. How are you going to replenish something when he... It already had to be here. Now, for your demon question. This is where demons begin. Why do I say that? Because the first males and females that were in the earth had no soul. They are what they call disembodied spirits. Demons are called disembodied spirits. So we get every demon or every spirit that wants to do evil. Say you have a smoking demon, drug demon, sex demon, murdering demon, pedophile demon, homosexual demon. No matter what kind of demon you got, it was probably one of these. Disembodied spirits. The demons are not the fallen angels. They ran in the atmosphere. The demons are these first human beings that were upon the earth. They're running around because they're disembodied. They don't have a they don't have a hell or heaven to go to until judgment day. But they're running around <laughs> trying to find a body to go in to fulfill their lust. So they're in torture because they can't smoke. They're in torture because they can't have sex. They're in torture because they can't kill. <clears throat> they're in torture because they can't do drugs. That's why Jesus said, if you invite one in, seven others come. Now, these are also levels of demons. You have imps. What is an imp? Childish demon. He wants to smoke. He wants to have sex. He wants to play with himself. He wants to do all these kind of things. That's an imp. Then you have uh, 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 privates, sergeants. So the higher you go, the higher level demon you're going to get. You know, somebody like Goldberg and and Kenneth Copeland and Crepa, they're dealing with some captains and maybe some generals compared to what we're dealing with. We think we're going through war. No, them men are going through war. Amen? Amen. Because they're not dealing with a smoking or a homosexual or hopefully they're not. Those are imps. Right. So they're disembodied spirits that are looking for you to fulfill their lust. Okay? Are we with me? Yes. So those are the demons in the earth, the first human beings who are disembodied spirits looking to fulfill their lust in you. And if they're not able to get in you, then they're tortured. But once they get in you, they're going to act until they kill you. You with me on this? Yeah. All right. Now, why do I say that? Because one of the demons was named Lilith. Oh, boy, I'm going to in trouble. She was the first wife of Adam. <laughs> Amen. Her name was Lilith. <laughs> and Adam was getting on top of Lilith. Now this is in the Hebrew Bible. Amen? Amen. Adam was getting on top of Lilith to know her. Okay? But Lilith decided she was going to roll Adam over and get on top of him. This is how the story goes. Okay? So Lilith decided she was going to roll over Adam and get on top of him. And Adam, no, the man belongs on top. No. And when Adam refused to do that, she said no. She became independent. And flew off. Now, Lilith is now the lust demon. Every time you want to have sex, it's Lilith. 
Every time you have a wet dream at night, that's Lilith. Every time you decide to bless and do freaky things, that's Lilith. <clears throat> we blame Jezebel, but that's Lilith coming into your spirit. Ooh, that's heavy. Enough. I see it. That's it. See? See how y'all look at that? Y'all look at that. What the heck? <laughs> but I'm here to with you. Now, we understand that the disembodied spirits are the first human beings, first one man and woman. So, Warren, why are they saying Adam and Eve were the first male and female? They are. I'm not disagreeing with that. Right? Go to uh, Genesis 2. <sighs> oh, boy. We're we'll getting trouble. Ugh. Which verse I want? Genesis 2. Do, 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 do. Yeah, bless them, sir. Sanctify them. I think it's verse 7. And God and the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. Now remember, he spoke the first human beings into existence. Ooh. But what does it say here? And the Lord God formed. Now it sounds like God got off his throne. Because there's only a few times in the word of God you want to see him get off his throne. God got off his throne, came down... And form. In no time you got to form something, you got to put it in your hand, don't you? That's right. You got to touch yep. it. <clears throat> Woo, Jesus. Amen. That's why we believe in laying on our hands, transference of spirits. That's why I said, don't let everybody lay hands on you. Because <clears throat> oh, you don't know which spirit they're carrying. You better discern who's laying hands on you. Amen? Because Amen. whatever they carry won't go into you. Amen. Well, I just know that's the preacher. You can lay hands on me. Lay hands on yourself. No, let me don't go there now. Anyway. <laughs> and the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And the man became a what? Living soul. A living soul. He's the first one that had a soul. God breathed. Ain't that what Jesus did with the disciples before he left? It said he breathed on them. Oh, receive you the Holy Ghost. Oh, y'all not getting this. Good. Oh, yeah. Amen. So Adam was the first one with a living soul. And God formed him. I like to say it like this. If God touched something, we believe in it. What's the next thing he did with Adam? Okay, Lilith is gone. If you really ain't because Lilith ain't in here. But if you think about it, Adam said, now nah, below Lilith and ran off and became some kind of demon that's causing men to fulfill freaky lusts. Hey Amen. I'm just paraphrasing. What I need now, Lord. Oh, it's not good for man to be alone. So he put man asleep, so this time he won't interrupt with his perfection. Do y'all know women are perfected of God? Amen. In my point of view. Because the word says God is what? Love. And God is what? Spirit. And God is love. Right? So when God put Adam to sleep, so he won't interrupt or interfere with his greatest creation, which is going to come out of us. That's why every time I look at my wife and I get mad with her, I say, oh, Lord. Give me back my rib, Lord. Give me back my rib. Can't have my rib. We can't live with him. Can't live without him. Give me back my rib. I know he ain't gonna get back, but I want it back now. If I can give it back. Amen. <laughs> she gonna kill me. <laughs> but when he put him to sleep, what you gotta do? He opened him up and took. Ain't that what it said? Took a rib, right? So when you taking something, it's what you're touching it again. So God is putting His essence into that rib, isn't He? And what is His essence? Love. That's why that woman endures you. That's why that woman couldn't even put up with you committing adultery and cheating on her. That's how come she put up with you for years before she said, I can't take it no more. <clears throat> Half the stuff we've done, we would kick ourselves out there. Hello. Come on. But she endures because she has that love, that essence. That's why when man and woman come together, they make one, the fullness of God. That's why I always tell people marriage is so important. I am not, you know, how many people ever heard people say marriage is the first ministry? How many of you ever heard that? Well, it's not to me. Because ministries can fail, ministries can cease, and ministries can vanish away. If you're looking at your marriage as a ministry, you're saying they can cease, it can fail, can vanish away. Marriage is the foundation of God between a man and a woman. Right. I don't care if that man got created into a woman and went and bought some breasts and got his uh, thing cut off and shaped into a woman's thingy. That ain't that's still a man. Okay, how much of a woman you want to create? You still a man. That's right. Duh. But, but it's created between a man and a woman. One woman. One man. Okay? Amen. 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 All right. But that's the full essence of God. That's why it's something called soul tithing. That's why he prefer both of you to be virgins when you get married. 
because in the marriage you break her hymen, the blood falls over you, which causes the blood covenant between Christ. And you are taking your altars and blending them together. Why? Altars too. You go to the altar, testify, testimony, testicle. Amen. You have two of those, right? She has two ovaries, right? They're the witness. Jesus sent them out two by two as a witness. So every time you go and have sex with somebody, you're witnessing to them with your altar. <laughs> That's why when you're lying, you can never forget the people you slept with. I can remember every woman I ever slept with and bring her up in my mind from the age of two. Every little nasty picture I've ever seen. Well, come on. I'm the only one. I got my own private pornography film in my head. Oh, y'all looking at me like I'm the only one? No, no. Hello. I'm guilty. I know you're guilty. I'm guilty. I'm guilty. You ain't got to tell me. I know. I know you're guilty. Yeah. <laughs> That's my don't fool me with it. But anyway, you <laughs> maybe lose track. But anyway, but that's why you don't soul tie and you blend them together because you're bringing your souls together. That's in 1 Corinthians 6 where he says, You have become one when you have sex. Amen? Amen. You have joined your souls together, whether in evil or in good. That's why it's so important to watch who your soul tie. Amen. But anyway, hope that explained that part. Any more questions? Uh, I've heard of uh, territorial demons. I've heard of uh, non-territorial demons. Like, is there certain like areas that are? Because I know like just demons are territorial. Cambodia, uh, their child uh, sex slave is really bad there. Is that like a? Is that like a? It's a demon assigned to that area. Right in that area. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, every state, poverty, every country has there. assigned Eight. demons. So. Every country and every state has assigned demons. Like the ones in Philadelphia did not follow me to Alabama. Right, man? Right. But that don't mean I can't accept the ones in Alabama. The ones in Montgomery are not the ones in Otagaville. Mm -hmm. Amen? Okay. The ones next door to that house are not the ones that are over here. You brought some with you, but they stayed where you are. You know how you brought them with you? Because they changed your thinking. You didn't physically bring the demon with you. Yeah. That demon is still where you were at, wherever town you're from. He's waiting for you to come home. But he left the thought of you, him in, or her in your head. Right. See, y'all ain't not getting this. Right. So when you go home, that demon's going to be waiting for you to see if they can come back in you. Hello? Mm -hmm. You know? So the ones here are here. They're assigned here. But you have so much. That's why the best test is to go back where you came from. This. Sometimes if you know you're not ready, then don't go. That's why some guys stay here to become staff or stay here to do their ministry or whatever or move to a totally different town. Because them demons are waiting for them. They're just not mature enough to help. Wait, go ahead. Hold on. Okay. Uh, do, do you think the reason uh, the music industry is so uh, powerful and, and impacts our youth and impacts uh, you know, society in general is because Satan was actually anointed to play music? Go to uh, and you expound on that. Ecclesiastes 28. No. Ezekiel 28. Sorry. Ezekiel 28. All right, this is the story of Satan because Satan's name is not Satan. He was given that name as the fallen one, okay, by the Lord. Lucifer is his angelic name. Now, you got to understand this. Satan used to run the earth. <laughs> That's why God told him to replenish. He used to run the earth. The earth was his headquarters. He ran the cherubims. Okay? The cherubims are the bees that, that God put in front of the Garden of Eden so that um, Adam and Eve could not re-enter. They blocked the entrance. Cherubims are the most powerful angels. You have cherubims, seraphims, and living creatures. Not all angels have wings. But as, as uh, Isaac said, he saw them ascending and descending. Jesus even said, you will see me ascend and descend. They're messengers. You remember the ladder? Jacob's ladder? He saw the angels ascending and descending. Right. Mm -hmm. right? They didn't have wings. And even the scripture tells we may entertain angels in other wares. Some of these homeless folk, some of these people you see them walking down the street and you don't think they're nothing, or some of these people just stand next to you could be angels in other wares. And they're checking your attitude and your character. Hello. That's right. I bet some. I know I did. But they, I mean, as soon as I turned around, they were gone. You know, a homeless person that's asking me for something and begging me for something to go get high, I know the difference. But this person who's saying, can you take me in and go get some food? Fine. I buy the food, give it to him. 
And I said, wait a minute, you know what? I realize you really want to move. Let me go get some money. And I come out and they're gone. And I'll, I mean, it matters something. We didn't Angels in other words. But Satan's name was Luther, light reflector, one who reflects light. He stood at the throne of God. His job was to stand. If God created an angel, remember, angels don't get weary. Amen? So whatever God created that angel to do, he must do that for eternity. See, he gave us free will. Angels got free will too, but they were still created to do something. Whether it was to sit and read a book, whether it was to work the library, whatever it was for them to do. And if they came outside of what they were going to do, they immediately go straight to hell. Giant here. This is what happened with uh, Satan, or Lucifer. He said, and that's to the throne of God. Right? And the light reflects throughout all the universe. But he decided he wanted, let's read this story. But he decided he wanted to sit. He was created to stand. But when he decided he wanted to sit, only God sits. Amen. Woo! He came outside himself. And that's why Jesus said, I saw Lucifer fall yep. as a lightning bolt to that from heaven. Amen? Right. Let's start at verse 11. Chapter 28, verse 11. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, take up lamentations upon the king of Tyrus. Now, the king of Tyrus has been incarnated with Satan. And say unto him, Thus said the Lord God, Thou seals up the sun. Here's his description. Thou sealest up the sum full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. He ain't no horny, red faced, ugly thing with a tail. It says he's fine. Satan is beautiful. Amen? Amen. So why are y'all looking for this horny, red faced thing you see on TV? No, he's pretty. Pretty boy. <laughs> Verse 13. Thou has been in here it is, see? He's been in the Eden. That was his home. Here we go. Thou has been in Eden, the garden of God. That was his headquarters. Every precious stone was thy covering. Watch this Cody's way. Every precious stone. The uh, sardine, the topaz, the diamond, the pearl, the ox, I mean the ox, whatever. And the jasper, and the sapphire, and the emerald, and the carbonacle, and the gold. The workmanship of thy tabards, and the pipes were prepared in thee in the day that thou was created. There's his music. Where it says, his employment was his workmanship, his job. What was his job? Worship God. Amen. He was the worship leader. Amen. His pipes, he sang praise unto God. That's why he hates anybody who sings praise. That's why he's corrupted music with the youth. I don't listen to all that crap. I barely listen to hard some of this gospel music. Amen? Amen. If you don't tell, I got my set music that's probably older than me now that I listen to when I want to get inspired by God. It's got to have some real word. Amen? Amen? But it says, Thy pipes, there's his singing, praise and worship, was prepared in thee in the day that thou was created. Now watch this. Thou art anointed. He was smeared, because anointing means smeared with it. When he was created, he was smeared with this anointing, just like you. Amen? Amen. Amen. Thou art an anointed cherub that covers. He was the head of all the cherubims, the most powerful angels in heaven. They got four faces. Face of an ox, face of a lion, face of a man, and the face of an eagle. They sit in front of the throne of God, and all they say, all for eternity, is holy, holy, holy is the Lord thy God. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord I got. And God will hear that for eternity. Holy, 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 holy is the Lord I got. Holy, 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 holy is the Lord. Man! That's all they do. And they got wings. Seraphim's got six wings. Cover. Cover the wings and spread out. They're the only ones with wings. And you'll see them on the Ark of the Covenant. That's right. Amen? Amen? Now, the created creatures. Why are you scratching your head? Nothing. I was just. Too much? No. Okay. And the created beings are the messengers that go back and forth, which we be talking about. Well, when my mama dies, she's going to be coming in. Sorry, no, she's not. <laughs> Ain't no baby died and got no wings. Nope. You're not going to see them come back and talk to you. You know, my grandmother used to always say, I saw so-and-so who died. He was in the room talking. Mom, that's a demon. But you know, I don't want to tell her. <laughs> You know, that's a demon. You know, as I got as got, Mom, you ain't hear that man come back. Now, that's some demon messing with you, Mom. If I see him standing in the room, I'm running. 
But they, you know, people think that stuff, but that's a demon. That's why they go to soothsayers and, and all those people who would conjure up the dead. And God said, that ain't, that ain't happening. But guess what he said also when it comes to that kind of stuff? Where is that? Deuteronomy 13. Oh, wait a minute. Did we finish reading? No, keep reading. I'm sorry. Stay there. I'm jumping the gun. All right, verse 14. Thou art in order to travel in the cover, and I have set thee so. See, God made them that way. Thou was upon the holy mount of God. Thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of the fire. Thou was perfect in thy ways from the day that thou was created. Until what? Till iniquity was found in you. Until sin was seen in him. What was the sin? The sin is in Isaiah 14. We wow. said, I, 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 I. But guess what? That also says he's the mother of sin. He started sin. Satan is the mother of sin. Amen. 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 Why did Jesus say that? He's the father of lies. He was a liar from the beginning. Amen. That what Jesus said in verse 16. By thy multitude of thy merchandise, they have filled the midst of thee with violence, and thou hast sinned. Therefore, I will cast thee as profane out of the mountain of God, and I will destroy thee, O covering cherub, from the midst of the stones of the fire. Thine heart was lifted up. There's pride. See? Thine heart was lifted up because of thy beauty. Thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by reason of thy brightness. I'm all that in a bag of chips. You know, you stand in front of God with that beautiful coat on shining throughout all the universe. You want to start thinking something like yourself. But it's God's glory he was shining. Amen. But well, watch this. He still deceived the elect. Who was those elect? Those angels. One third of all the angels followed that fool. Amen. 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 I will destroy thee, O covering turn from the midst of the earth. Thine heart, because of thy brightness. I cast thee to the ground. That's where you saw Jesus in Luke uh, 10, 18. Say, I saw Jesus fall as the lightning both through. I will lay thee before kings that they may behold thee. Thou hast defied thy, defiled thy sanctuary by the multitude of thy iniquity. By thy iniquity of thy traffic. What is the traffic there? Anybody else got traffic in anybody? Mm. Slander. He was slandering against God. Isaiah 14, I will, I will, I will. I will be like the most high God. I will, I will, I will. Amen. And he slanders you night and day before God. Therefore will I bring forth a fire from the midst of thee. It shall devour thee, and I, <laughs> and I will bring thee to ashes upon the earth in the sight of all men. I mean, in the sight of all of them that behold thee. So in other words, I'm going to destroy you in front of everybody. Amen. But what I was getting ready to say about soothsaying and, and psychics and all that, go to Deuteronomy 13, I think it is. You be saying, well, these people, they, why don't they say that it's going to be true? It is true. They, they should have been prophets. They should have been there. Astrology was corrupted by Satan. Right. Do you know Abraham was an astrologer? He, he, he followed the stars. You know, we, we talk about the three wise men, there were no three, they were mad guys. There was thousands of them. They thought they were astrologers. They followed the stars. And they followed that star to the north. Astrology ain't bad until Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aquarius, yeah. All that stuff came in. So man corrupted. Even our calendar today, our Monday, Sunday was meant sun god. Monday was moon god. See, it was still corrupt. So even our calendar is not the same calendar out of this Bible. But we follow it, don't we? Right. Amen. So, <laughs> what did I say? Deuteronomy 13? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, y'all be not like that follow it. No, all this stuff is earthly. God's timing is not our time. <clears throat> Amen? <clears throat> I'm getting in trouble a little bit. <laughs> oh, That's all right. <clears throat> but I wanted you to see that all this stuff is true. All right. If there arise, verse, uh, verse 1, if there arise among you a prophet, a dreamer of dreams, and giveth thee a sign or wonder, mm -mm -mm, and that sign or wonder come to pass, come true, amen. Wherefore he spake unto thee, saying, Let us go after other gods. You see that slow talk? Amen. Which thou hast not known, and let us serve them. 
Thou shalt not listen. Thou should not listen unto the words of that prophet. Oh my goodness. Y'all always want to get a prophet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Don't listen to the words of that prophet. Or that dream of the dreams. Psychics. Amen. 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 What they say is going to come. But let's keep reading. Yeah. Or that dream of dreams. For the Lord your God proves you. To know whether you love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. You shall walk after the Lord your God and fear him that keep him his commandments and obey his voice. And you shall serve him and cleave unto him. And that prophet or dreamer of dreams shall be put to death. Hello. Because he has spoken to turn you away from the Lord your God. Which brought you out of the land of Egypt and out of redeemed you out of the house of bondage to thrust thee out of the way which the Lord God commanded thee to walk in. So thou shalt put the evil away from the midst of thee. Amen? Amen. Yeah, I see it's 11 now. You're ready to go. Well, I guess that ended it. But the point is, do not trust every prophecy. They will come to pass, but God will be the judge. You got to know God for yourself. Amen. Amen. I hope that blessed y'all, man. Yeah, amen. Uh, amen. Amen. Wait, go ahead, one more, real quick. I just want to say, um, back in Ezekiel, where it talks about whenever he was beautiful and uh, and, uh, and his beauty made him proud. <coughs> all right, so he was the beautiful angel, so he, he is beautiful. Okay, but well, all it, angels are beautiful, right? But, but then it said, he says, so I seen you, seen you, uh, I set on fire the place where you lived, and the fire burned you up. So now, since he got burned up. Uh, he's no longer here. No, I disagree. Yeah. Uh, that, no, it's going to be burned up. That's a future. See, hell was not created for you and me. <clears throat> and Satan is not in hell. Stop casting me someplace God ain't sent him yet. He ain't burned up. He's there. He reigns in the clouds. Right. Right. He's in the clouds. He's the prince of the atmosphere. Yeah. Amen? Right. And actually, his judgment is going to be the abyss. He's going to be falling forever. Read the scripture of Revelation. And to that evil one, he will be thrown into the abyss. That means... He falls forever. Okay? So, don't, don't, when you get people who talk about, I cast Satan and sit him down to hell in the name of Jesus, they, when, that tells me you don't know what you're talking about half the time. How do you want to send him someplace God ain't sent him? But be specific. Get off my body, get off the street, get off, be specific where to go. But you can't send him no place he ain't, God ain't sent him yet. Until judgment, Jesus returns and the whole judgment thing hits, then Satan's going to be cast in hell. The only ones that are in hell right now are the fallen angels out of, out of uh, <coughs> Noah's day. Because they had sex with women. So there was two falls. Hello. Oh. And this was after Satan. Oh, they immediately went to hell because they did not do what they were supposed to. But they had sex with women, and that's how come we had giants. Oh. They're called Nephilim and Rivers. Okay, Amen? That's where yeah. Goliath and all his boys come from. Amen? Yeah. So those angels are the only ones that are in hell. Right. Okay? But yeah. Satan is not in hell. He's in Prince of the Atmosphere. And he loves us saying that mess. We cast you into hell in the name of Jesus. He's like, ha ha ha. Are you chained in hell? Where did you release the Yeah, they will be released too for a thousand years. 